morning. It's about 6 a.m. I'm out for my morning walk through the nab. Even got my PJs on. It's quiet, peaceful. The only sound I can pretty much hear are the birds and my feet. I generally walk about a mile and a half to two miles every morning that I can spare the time. But sometimes doing the vlog, editing, or a few other projects get in the way. But today, it's a great day. And there's some amazing houses. This house is owned by the U2 guitarist. I think that's his car. Walk all the way to the top. That's the end of the road. It's about a mile and a half, a little bit less. Time to walk back all downhill from here. What are you doing? Oh, I'm making our new healthy drink. Watch. Bananas. Mm -hmm. Fresh pineapple. Guavas from our tree outside. And then spinach. Frozen blueberries. Hipper food. Water. Oh man, that is freaking that awesome. First off, uh, today and for the next week, I'm driving this brand new Volvo S90, which is their flagship sedan. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful car, as you can see here. The Swedes are always full of amazing stuff. But I'm driving south on PCH, headed into, uh, not really Culver City, more of uh, Los Angeles area, to a place called The Smog Shop. I've been invited once again by the guys at FCA, which is Dodge, Chrysler, Fiat, those guys. And this is kind of the premiere of the new Jeep Compass. It's not quite available for, uh, you know, guys like me to be able to drive and, you know, fiddle around with, but it will be soon this year. But until then, I got this Volvo.
microphone, but I think I know everybody here. I'm Scott Brown. Do I know everybody? Yeah? Yes. 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 Jordan Waz, like I want to introduce Jordan. He Good. is on our GPR team back in Auburn Hills. He has come out. Introduce Scott Talon, who is the director of the Jeep brand, head of Jeep North America. Wanted to thank you guys for coming out. I know Tuesday can be a brutal day in Los Angeles for traffic, so we really appreciate you coming out. This car is hugely important to us, it's the Jeep brand. Um, it's arrived and it has arrived in the ocean. The big news for Jeep right now is the introduction of the Audi Compass. Scott mentioned you can't ship it to dealers a little over a month ago. We're building inventory very quickly, and our commercial launch will take place in the month of May. So we're excited for that. It's time for another beach hike. I'm following Kathy. She's in the truck. I'm still in the 2017 Volvo S90. Driving north on PCH, the last point at which we stopped, which was a beach called Latigo. We're actually going to go about two and a half, three miles north of that, drop the truck off, which is at Paradise Cove, and we're going to drive back to Latigo in this car, and we're going to hike from Latigo back up to Paradise Cove and have some lunch on the beach there. Spectacular day. It's a little on the chilly side, not, not as warm as it normally is. Is, but it's working out to be pretty awesome. Once again, I'll be able to show you guys some really amazing houses. Who knows? We might even find some more body parts on the beach. Could be anything. We had to stop because Kathy needs to move Bob's truck. Uh, Bob is currently on a movie in Atlanta. What's the movie? I'm not sure what movie he's on. Yeah, Bob's a sculptor in the film industry, so he's working on a movie right now, and I, I don't remember, but he's going to be back in a couple weeks. So we just kind of move his car around on PCH so that he doesn't get a ticket, and I really hope it doesn't get crashed into either. But if it did, then he could get a brand new truck, and he needs a brand new truck. So as long as no one got hurt, I, I don't know what I'm saying. off the truck and then we drove back to Latigo only to realize I got the keys okay. <laughs> yes but but we didn't think about the fact that it's high tide yeah it's high tide we can't get past the point <laughs> <laughs> so we may just kind of walk down to the beach we'll show you guys Latigo which is really cool and then we'll just have lunch or something next time we'll bring the keys and we'll check the tides you guys remind us <laughs> we need somebody to remind us taking you guys down this street before. This is actually the original Pacific Coast Highway. We have? Uh, I think we've taken them down. Have we taken you guys down here before? Leave a comment. If we haven't, great. If we have, we're sorry. We're gonna do it again. Ultimately, Latigo is where Kathy and I would like to move. Yeah. They're building a house right here in this whole piece of land right there. I don't want that house. It's too big. It's either that or Hawaii. That's a hard choice. But this is kind of like Hawaii. It is. Especially once you start walking on this cool street. And we can still go to Hawaii. Anytime. Yeah. Well, if we were in Hawaii, we could go to Malibu. <laughs> Highway, although this has been repaved, but the original highway was 1929, and that stamp proved it. Amazing surf pad.
end of Latigo, there's a gate right here. Used to be able to go through. Can't do that so much anymore. But it's quite beautiful. We're just gonna find a place to plop and have lunch. Malibu Caboose House. Uh, we actually know the owner of that house. I'm not going to say who it is, but uh, I think he Airbnbs and bees the house. So you may have to look that up online, but you can actually stay in the caboose. I made tacos for myself. I didn't feel like having bread. So, tortilla, veggie burger crumble, a little rice, a little beans, and my famous jalapeno sauce. Woo! So much for the hike. It didn't really go that far, but it's a gorgeous day, so. The food was delicious. 